Hey, what's up guys? I'm Van H and welcome to the project. Yes, we are in the General Grievous CJ today. It is empty, hopefully not for long. We're going on a road trip and we're gonna fill this sucker full of parts. So we got two main objectives. We got one stop in Jersey. It's about 70 miles away, but with New York City traffic, it's gonna take us about an hour and 45 minutes, maybe more, maybe less. I don't know, traffic is terrible, you never know. But uh, we're gonna go there, we're gonna pick up a dirtbound rear bumper for an XJ. It's got the tire carrier and it's a super score. Um, we're getting it less than half the price of new, but it's in kind of rough shape. It's gonna need a couple re-welds and some paint, but that's objective number one. Objective number two is we're gonna continue down to Newcastle, Delaware for another 130 miles. And uh, we're gonna go see Roy Remick from Virginia. He's gonna meet us up there. He's got a ZJ full of Jeep parts that we're gonna transfer into here. So we're gonna check out his ZJ, say what's up to him. He's been a subscriber for a very long time and uh, he's a Jeep fan as well. So we are gonna embark on this trip and uh, we're gonna go pick up a buddy, Andy, first first. So I guess three objectives. Well, maybe four, because we gotta bring Andy back home. So, <laughs> all right guys, enjoy the ride. That LJ, parked next to a sweet XJ. I wonder who those belong to. What's up, Andy? How you doing? Welcome to the project. We're going on our trip to <laughs> Delaware? Jersey first. Jersey first. <laughs> Are you ready for this? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Let's join the rat race for New York City commuter traffic. <laughs> well, if we leave here like just after nine, almost all the traffic from 63 is gone. Yeah, well, I don't know what time it is. It's 8.16 here, but it's 9.16 here. Oh, well, it's 9.16. I forgot to change one of those times. Daylight savings, what a ripoff. <laughs> Good for you. You work one less hour. No, I was off. Oh. <laughs> yeah, here we go, guys. Like way -hoo -hoo. I think the 7-Eleven by me, the busiest 7-Eleven in America. One of the busiest 7-Elevens in America. <laughs> in America. Right, the, the it was. Exclusive blend. Oh, what is this? Sick joke. Just a splash. And the top off. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. You're welcome. Have Thank a great day. Those wheels look the way they look. Oh, yeah. Well, they are one sexy wheel, I'll tell you that. Yeah, baby. The general. That's a nice color. Brown, like the khaki color starting to grow brown. on me. It's called maroon. I just don't like the brown interior. It's camel. Ca <laughs> I'll give you camel give toe you in a minute. <laughs> it's gross.
ladies and gentlemen, if you look to your left, you will see New York City. Oh crap, fog. <laughs> decision with your life. This car right here is, he's not letting him in either. No matter what he does. Get over. He wants to get off. That's the problem. There's nobody there now. For the love. He probably doesn't know he has his blinker on. He's looking like... He's afraid of going past the dump truck. Holy crap. Holy shit, Make a right. decision. Some people should not be on the road. It's an Uber. <laughs> he had a plastic divider. He should uh, Uber himself home and sit this one out. a good trip up until now as usual cross Bronx traffic has got to stop dead what are you gonna do it's gonna wait till it moves cruise on out of New York over to George Washington into New Jersey we'll pick up this bumper creeping at a snail's pace Guys, we made it to Jersey. Say what up to Kyle. How's it going? What's the Instagram? No troubles bubble. We got some underscores in there, right? Yes. No I'll, I'll pop it like right there on the video. No. Follow Kyle. He's got a beautiful XJ. Check this out. Look at this baby. 2001 Patriot Blue. One of my favorite colors. JCR rock sliders. 
That's a JCR front bumper. Yes, sir. The Vanguard. Yep. Custom painted to match. That is gorgeous. You got the uh, hood spacers on for that heat, right? Yeah, case suspension. Case suspension, hood spacers. There we go. Nothing like 2000 and 2001 cats to cook a hood from the inside out. Oh, man. This thing is looking sharp. Oh, I love this Jeep, man. Clean inside. Clean XJ. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful rig. He's got unibody stiffeners on to kill the underneath. Wow. Look at that. Like your Cherokee flags too. Thanks. Beautiful. What kind of exhaust is this? Magna Flow. Magna Flow throughout, yep. front to back. You want to start it up? Sure. Awesome. <laughs> Banks torque tube. Yep. You got the 2000, 2001 with the cat. Yep. How does that work out for you? Good. I like it. I've always wanted one of those. And it's kind of like the only thing I have is the stock and the cat and the downplate. Okay. I did that when I did my head swap Clearwater. Clearwater head, yeah. Excellent. Beautiful. Nice. We got three inch lift, one ton under the knuckle steering, core 4x4 control arms. Yeah, baby. Look at that. No leaks either. <laughs> Check it out. We got the vacuum bubble installed up there because we got the aftermarket front bumper. Check out these pretty cool turn signal lenses. Custom LEDs. Looking sharp. It's a pretty sweet X-Shake. Can we take it for a ride? All right, let's do it. <laughs> Have a good day. guys that was a sweet ride in the xj thank you kyle no now down to business we got a bumper to buy check this out guys we got dirt bound rear bumper one of them diy ones kyle was nice enough to pick this up for me on facebook marketplace and uh we got a pretty good use for it it's got a tire carrier where is it yeah here we go a <laughs> swing out tire carrier and uh, we're gonna put this on, I guess, Project Rec Day eventually. Need some sprucing up, but not too bad. So, all right, guess we'll get this baby loaded up in the Grievous. Building an arc over there, like. 
Viennese neighbors. All right, you got an extra sticker, but you got to put it on your extra right now. Okay. Right. <laughs> I wish I got glass cleaner. Oh, yeah, glass cleaner. I got some inside. All right, right let's do it. Grab. Let's get it squeaky clean. Of course. We'll check out your stickers in the meantime over here. All right. I'll let you pick placement. Are you sure? Yeah, it don't matter to me. Believe me. It's got to be somewhere near financial mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, he's got things on the back corners. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. All yeah, right. That's one thing my buddy puts all the stickers on. Because with me. Yeah? Yeah. We'll go top corner? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Here we go. Pressure's on. Woohoo! Nice! There we go. They got the air bubbles. Yeah. Alright. That's a wrap. Thank you, Kyle. Pleasure. Alright, guys. We got our bumper. Huge thank you to Kyle. Shout out. No troubles bubbles. Go follow him on Instagram. He's got a great blue XJ. It's clean. I love clean XJs. So uh, thanks again, Kyle. And now it's off to uh, Delaware. Where are we going? We're going to Delaware. We're going south for more parts. Let's hit the road. Three thirty-seven a gallon. What a rip-off. Dan K instead of Dan H. Damn. Or is that dank? <laughs> Coming in hot. We made it. Hey, black there's a black cloud. cloud. <laughs> What's up, Roy? Mm. We made it. <laughs> mm. All right, guys. We made it. We're at the Jersey Delaware border. We're here with Roy. What's going on, Roy? Hey, what's up, buddy? So, what do you do in your spare time? You go around saving Jeep parts from uh, the junkyard. The that's crusher? that's correct. Yeah, it's <laughs> gonna be black black clouds. Uh, junkyard salvage, or something like that. <laughs> Recovery uh, service. Uh, <laughs> this man's a godsend. He picks out all the rare parts out of junkyards. I guess they're local to Virginia, right? Yep. Yeah. He came all the way up to deliver some parts. So uh, follow you. Uh, what are you on Facebook? Yeah, Facebook. Yep, primarily. Roy, Roy will put a. How do you say Roy Remick? Roy? Yep, yeah, Roy Remick. Yep. Roy Remick. Facebook. Yep. Follow him. Get yourself some Jeep parts. You're taking orders, right? <laughs> That's right, yeah. We got, uh, we got the bumper for Andy right in there. So you know what? Why don't we unload all the parts and we'll take a walk around of this uh, pretty sweet black cloud. And this is a real 5.9 hood? Yep. Cool. We'll dig into that in a minute. There we go guys, a ZJ full of Jeep parts, <laughs> fantastic. Close. Excellent. All right guys, we got the Jeep all loaded up. General Grievous is pretty packed out. I'd say that's a good day, especially since Roy did all the work. Well, let's take a look at the black cloud over here. I'm loving these canyon rims. These are actually the cleanest canyon rims I've ever seen. They're rocking 31s by 10 and a halfs. Yep, 10 and a half. Yep. We got three inch lift. Two inch lift with, uh, yeah, two inch lift. It's looking good, man. Uh, so where do you want to start? I was noticing the interior. Yeah. Manual seat brackets. Yeah, so basically I converted 
power seats into manuals because I didn't really want the extra weight in the car. So basically I, I switched these brackets out, got rid of the powers, you know, because obviously those power seats break down all the time and I didn't want to really deal with it. Yeah, so I did a full 5.9 liter interior upgrade minus the seats right now. So I'm basically going for a TSI conversion. But yeah, so we get basically a conglomerate of Project Dan H, <laughs> Leapin' Jeep, Dirt Lifestyle, d and &E Garage. Oh, Barricade! You like Barricade too? Oh, yeah. oh I love Barricade. <laughs> East Coast Jeeping except for Nate. Oh, I love it. TSI, man. That's a rare badge. Score. <laughs> so, uh, what else you got? Oh, show me these louvers for the 5.9. This is a stock 5.9 grill. Stop. No, just the hood. Just the hood. So, uh, there we go. Yeah, so working louvers of the 5.9. This came out of the junkyard. So, and that was the whole whole idea of the build. Right, is because these ZJs aren't really worth anything. So unfortunately, you're right. <laughs> exactly. So this is a complete junkyard build. Ninety percent of the parts are out of the junkyard. Wow, wow. Uh, you know, minus the ones that you don't want to take out of the junkyard. <laughs> but yeah, wood, uh, working hood lovers, the heat comes out right here. Rain comes in. Yeah. It'll get extracted over this hole here. All right. So the rain there. is ported down to here. Yep. And then over the radiator. And then out. Look at that. That's awesome. Now there's like four holes, I think they are. Yeah, there's like six. I think six. Two, two, and two. Look at that. I'm uh, copying this so I could make blueprints from you. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so this was a Somebody silver. I know sent me hood <laughs> louvers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this was silver. I repainted it. Repainted the top. I still got a little. Uh, you sprayed it yourself or had it professionally no, done? No, sprayed it myself. Can job. Wow. That's a can job? Can job. Good job, can job. Yeah. That's uh, the same paint coat as mine. Same it's the PJ it? PJ7. Yep, yep. Yeah, and I redid the entire trunk. Repainted it as well, just like the hood. Yep. Rust. Got the rust out. Quality. Redid everything. You know. <laughs> I love your spare tire. At these ridge, ridges for uh, traction. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh man, little uh, little scary story with a blowout. Good thing you got home safe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then a uh, Data 44 A swap. Oh, nice. So basically, this is all. Well, this is mainly bleeping Jeep right here. So we took the upper JK control arms and used them for the ZJ lowers because this originally had a Data 35. Right. And so basically the drive shaft length is a little different, so the upper control arms from the JK are your fix. Gotcha. And then I did a little artwork on the on the on the Wow, oh, looks there. great. Is this a WJ 44A? No, ZJ. A ZJ 44A. Awesome. Yeah, so I basically redid all the I took out all the U-joints, gutted the front axle, Dana 30. Uh, top to bottom, gutted, and then put in a front locker from Spartan. This is a junkyard build. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this looks really good for a junkyard build. Yeah, I made a little bit of extra room here for the fenders, but I wanted to keep my factory fog lights. Yeah, so. you cut them perfectly. Yep. Look at that. Nice cut. Clearance and fog light functionality. Yep. Pretty clean, man. And Love then, the build. Yeah. Nice even got the headliner out of the out of the junkyard. Somebody had recently done it. <laughs> really? Yep. Junkyard headliner. That is clean. And so you didn't have to mess with any 3M glue all over your I think, hands. I think my best my best <laughs> score so far was I bought these seats from a for a hundred dollars. Yeah. Took out the I took out the, uh, the working motors and sold them for 125. <laughs> so I made 25 on the seats. Wow. And all I had to do was fab up your manual brackets. Score. Yep. She's got a little bit more work, but I think everything after this is going to be pretty much aftermarket. I'm going to do some, some MDF in the rear. Yeah. Four panels. Maybe some off road lights. Well, and that's the problem with us Jeepers. It's never finished. Yeah. Nothing's ever finished. Just waiting for a three inch lift coming <laughs> out of the junkyard. All right. 
All right, so before we get out of here, we got a Dan H. Care package for you. Got a bunch of stickers and the first ever shirt from the channel. Nice. Experimenting with some uh, some printing, and uh, that's the first batch. Sweet. So, yeah. Well, thanks, yeah. You guys. I appreciate it. You got it. it. Let's pop on a sticker. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, baby. There we go, buddy. <laughs> we did it. All right, Roy. It's definitely been a pleasure, buddy. Yeah, you too. I'm sure we'll do business again some other Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, as promised, we got a ZJ full of parts. Now we got to head back up to New York. Guess it's another three hour drive. Yeah. Just in time to hit rush hour traffic. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, man, good score. Thank you so much, Roy. Love the ZJ. It's been a good Jeep day so far. Now yeah, it's two nice ones. Yeah. Two yeah. nice people. Nice people, nice Jeeps. And uh, yeah, Jeep life, baby. Jeep my life in a good way. <laughs>
two inch lifted springs i think i'm not sure about that better check check up with me on that roy <laughs> we got uh we got my hemi privacy cover you know the do not touch cover because i cut mine for the old catch can and if i ever want to sell it or make it stock now i got myself another uh another cover engine cover looking good uh also got a zj transfer case skid pan and bracket so that's going to be excellent this is a front skid pan too so mods for general grievous and here we go we got the dirt bound tire swing that's going to be great swing arm for the tire and it goes to this bumper it's looking rough but we'll fix it up we also got the mounts and uh he threw in some casey lights so that is it guys it was a great day and we had a great score all right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for my Jeep Parts ZJ Road Trip. Huge thank you to Andy for taking that ride with me. And uh, thank you to Kyle and Roy for all the parts. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can follow Roy and Kyle. You can check out what Roy's got for sale and go follow Kyle. He's got an awesome Jeep. Love that XJ, man. Really smooth. Great ride. So uh, good luck with that. Roy, Black Cloud, I don't know about that title, man. That implies bad luck, but... Hey, you're doing all right with it so far, so that's great, man. Keep up the good work. And, uh, yeah, guys, so um, if you are wondering why you didn't get to see Andy get dropped off in this ZJ in this video, that's because we had a little bit of an issue, and I'm going to follow that up in my next video. So stay tuned for that as I correct uh, a problem with the General Grievous. So uh, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next project. Peace. Hey YouTube, this is Roy Remick at Wind Rock Park with the Garage Built team. We just wanted to give a big shout out to Project Dan H for keeping those Jeeps on the road. Thanks brother.